That's <laughs> good. I was not ready for that. <laughs> Rude. What's up, brothers? It's not Tuesday. It's not. Thursday! I don't know that he has anything for Thursday. It doesn't ring the same. Alright, so we, uh, we've been wondering, what, what are you guys waiting on uh, to, to purchase your house? Is it rates? Is it the home values may come Get back? off your booty. Because, uh, JD, do you think that rates are coming down anytime soon? No, government's already said they put those rate those rate decreases on pause. Uh, did home values go down? No, home values went up five percent, five and a quarter. Sounds sounds right. Somewhere in there. Sounds right. Do you know what the median home value on the market is right now? That like the average sales price for the homes right now? It's like four nineteen, right? Four nineteen, three hundred dollars. Wilson County is like six twenty nine. It it is. So out of out of all these uh, homes that have closed in May, mm -hmm. you know what NAR National Association of Realtors, not not the National Rifle Association, that's NRA. Do you know what their percentage is of all cash buyers in May? Not clear. Twenty eight percent. Twenty eight percent of the buyers that bought in the United States. Last month, just May, we're all cash buyers. So here's what that tells me. You guys are waiting, but these investors are still buying. Now, but, but hold on, hold on. So 28% was all cash. 31% was first time home buyers. So, so over, right there, over, we got 59%. Over half of the market as either a cash buyer Correct. or a first time home buyer. Correct. That tells me that if somebody already owns a house, I don't feel like moving right now. Wonder why? Well, probably because they bought their house at a four or less. Four percent? Mm -hmm. Well, that would be a good a good statement, a good, you know, uh, point. But again, we, you know, We've got 59% of the market figured out right here. You're either paying cash or your first time home buyers. So what's the, uh, what's the other 41% doing? Those are your, I gotta move. That means- What for one reason or the that other? That means- Divorce, you've, you've a job. Divorce. You've had a family member pass away, you had to sell their house. You've gotten married, you've had a kid, you've graduated school, or you've sent your last kid off to college. And that, 59% of the buyers out there are buying those houses because while we have some inventory, I think we're up to what, three and a half months? We're up 8% from what we were. So if there was not another house to come on the market ever, it would take us three and a half months to sell everything we have. There we go. Which is higher than it's been in three and a half years. And a healthy, a healthy point of six, keep that in mind. So we're, we're still under from where we should be. Um, <clears throat> now, does, does that mean that we should be panicking? A absolutely not. No, it's been that way for... Three and a half years, four years yeah. now. So, yes, we do have some inventory. It's not to the level that we do need the inventory at, but we do have more inventory on here than what we've had in, again, three and a half, four years. Correct. Um, does that mean that we're gonna start seeing prices of homes go down? No. Mm -hmm. Does you that mean the only time you can really bet on prices of homes to come down is when we get over that six month inventory mark. The only time you would ever see house prices drop is if we flip to six plus months of inventory and we're nowhere close. We are not. Uh, and, even, and in the slowdown, even in the slowdown of the last two years, our, our inventory has only increased by a month. So take that into consideration. Technically the slowdown has been happening since 2008 when builders realized, hey, we overbuilt, we got way too much inventory out here, we won't ever do that again, and they haven't. Uh, generally, builders only build out about three months out. Uh, that way they know that they can clear their inventory and they're not overbuilding. But now we're screaming, we don't have enough. You still got plenty of houses to pick from. Mm -hmm. I, again, even at three and a half months, it's still the most we've had in three and a half years. Uh, most builders are offering incentives right now uh, to, to help you 
be able to buy the house. Uh, if you're a first time home buyer, you guys have been kicking butt. Y'all are the ones that are that are jumping in on this while you can. My favorite thing I do with a first time home buyer is bring them to the closing table where they don't have to bring a check. That's correct. Or in special cases, they get a check in the mail a couple of weeks later. They get paid to buy a house. Real quick and simple. First time home buyer. Down payment assistance. That way you don't have to worry about a down payment. Get your closing costs covered by a seller. That way you ain't gotta worry about closing costs. The only thing you have to do is pay for your home inspection, pay for your appraisal. Total maybe fifteen hundred dollars out of pocket throughout the process and you can buy a house. And investors, you're already out by you're investors, you of. You know what you're doing. That's and you, right. You know me. You know Keith. And if you know, we've we've helped you before. We'll do it again. That's right.